Billy Napier and the Florida Gators went off yesterday, and UF fans went from down in the dumps to the absolute mountaintop after four commits. This proves something huge that we're going to talk about later on in the video. But first, we told you yesterday about the commitment of Amir Jackson. He is the 6'5", four-star tight end that committed to UF earlier in the day, shortly after Austin Simmons flipped to Ole Miss. If you missed that video, stick around and we'll link it at the end. However, that was just the beginning of the fireworks as Billy Napier did something that hasn't been done in a long time, as long as I can remember, honestly, as a Gator fan. Billy Napier went nuts on the recruiting trail to close out the day. First up, Amaris Williams. He is 6'2 and a half, 255 pounds, a four-star defensive lineman out of Clinton, North Carolina. He is ranked as the 21st best defensive lineman and the 180th best player nationally, according to On3 Industry Ratings. Guys, this is a huge player, really, really good upside. UF is super excited about him. One thing that we have heard coaches and recruiting experts say over and over about Williams is that he is versatile. We know that UF plans to use him both at edge and uh, D end. He is a monster. This is an immediate impact on this defensive line. He is a huge pickup. During his junior season, he racked up 65 tackles, 44 tackles for a loss, 18 sacks, and a forced fumble. He picked you up over Penn State, NC State, North Carolina, Miami, Tennessee, USC, Auburn, VATEC, Oklahoma, and others. Oh, he had a lot of offers. Williams credited his relationship with coaches Mike Peterson, Austin Armstrongs, and Jay Bateman as one of the big things that drew him to UF. He also said he loved the people and the environment at UF, that it just, it felt like family. So shout out to the queen of Florida football, Katie Turner, for creating such a warm environment and one that Williams was really excited to join. Next up, Nasir Johnson. He is six foot six, 300 pound defensive lineman out of Dublin, Georgia. So on the video that I did yesterday, I talked a little bit about how important it is for UF to pull guys out of the state of Georgia. And we talked about it during the Amir Jackson commitment. Well, Napier has done it once again. He's gone into the Peach State and gotten his man. Johnson is the 245th best player in the country and the 26th defensive lineman overall, according to On3 Industry Ratings. He picked UF over Florida State, South Carolina, Georgia, LSU, and others. Now, Johnson is scheduled to visit FSU next weekend. It's unclear whether that visit will still happen or not, but this is a huge win over an in-state rival. Johnson, you know, was trending well for FSU for a while. It's a player that they really, really wanted. So we've talked repeatedly on this channel how it is so important to win the battles against your in-state rivals. So this is a big pickup for Billy Napier, and he stole one away from the Knowles. So I know that's going to make Gator fans happy. Then lastly, Aaron Childs. This was the last commitment of the four of, of yesterday's recruiting bonanza. This one was massive. But before we get to him, I want to tell you that UF's weekend might not be over just yet. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on what is next. We have a big goal before we get to kickoff versus Utah. All right. We want to hit 5,000 subscribers. So help us get there by joining the family. All right, Aaron Childs. He is six foot three, two 220 pound linebacker out of Olney, Maryland. He is a consensus four star guy, the ninth best linebacker overall, and the 109th recruit nationally, according to On3 Industry Rankings. 247 has him as the 80th best recruit overall and the sixth best, best linebacker for 2024. In his junior season, he made 24 tackles, 15 for a loss. 10 sacks, and two forced fumbles. Coaches have been raving about this guy, but there's some really interesting tidbits that we were able to pick up from recruiting experts and coaches that have worked with him at camps. Apparently, his football IQ is just absolutely off the charts, and a lot of people have raved about his leadership skills. I think this is huge because that's something UF has been lacking on the defense. They really do need guys to step up and be leaders. I think linebacker is a natural position to kind of have as like the quarterback of your defense. So that should make Gator fans happy to hear. They are definitely looking for leaders on the defensive side of the ball.
They also, coaches also love his physical style of play, right? Okay, this is a kid with great instincts. He is a sure tackler. He's strong. He's athletic. He's quick. We've been told he has great closing speed and he moves really well side to side. He's got great body control. This is a player that I know UF is excited to get in, get into the strength and conditioning program, get into the nutrition program and see what he can do. He's somebody that could make an impact early in his career for the Gators. He picked UF over Michigan, Maryland, Texas, Clemson, Penn State, Notre Dame, and others. He had 32 major offers. So Aaron Childs, the linebacker out of Maryland, that is how UF closed the night last night on a four-commitment day. So huge, huge pickups. Great job by Billy Napier and staff. And also massive shout out to Jay Bateman here. The defensive side of the ball absolutely has needed studs. And UF did a phenomenal job loading up here. According to 24-7 recruiter rankings, Bateman is now the number two recruiter in the country for the 2024 class. He was the primary recruiter on all four guys that UF landed yesterday. That's huge. But also, this is what else is so big here. Perception is reality. We told you yesterday about Austin Simmons' situation, and there's no reason to rehash all of that, so we're not going to. But for UF to completely turn around the public perception from a negative day to one of probably the greatest days in UF recruiting history is really honestly unlike anything that we could have imagined. I don't know if the plan was to go into the day and get four commitments, but I think UF and this staff capitalized on a moment and totally and completely flipped a narrative. So much so that the national media started to see it and comment positively. Guys like Josh Pate and J.D. Pakel were drooling over Napier's recruiting efforts. We've told you guys this from the beginning, but Napier is building this thing the right way. He's doing the things he needs to do, and he's got a top three class according to On3 right now. This is a rebuild. It's going to take time. But going six and seven last year didn't impact recruits buying into what Napier is selling. Having a five and a half win total in Vegas isn't keeping guys from buying in. Napier is going to get the right guys here. And if UF gives him the time, he's going to be successful. I try not to ring the bell of I told you so, but I'll say this. I have been preaching patience and belief And yesterday was a not-so-subtle reminder that Billy Napier is the guy we need in charge of UF football right now. We spoke about Amir Jackson's commitment and Austin Simmonson's insane reason for flipping to Old Miss. If you missed that video, click right here.